After the speech, Netanyahu returned home to face a fierce election campaign and praise from some unusual quarters in the Middle East. While in the United States, Benjamin Netanyahu received a warm welcome and much praise. Now that he's back home, the question is, will it make a difference in the upcoming national election? In what some term the speech heard around the world, Netanyahu made a strong case against Iran. Now some Israeli political analysts say the performance helped his party's chances. But a lot could happen before voters go to the polls in less than two weeks. Voters with, who have voted Likud in the past uh, and now are not sure that would be uh, an important help for him. Setting the agenda on security issues, I'm not, I don't think it clinches the, the election for him. There's still a long way to go. According to one poll after the speech, the Likud gained two seats. It also showed 44% of Israelis believe Netanyahu is most qualified to be prime minister. While the two main parties remain far apart on issues like economics, the rivals agree on the Jewish state's biggest threat. There is no much difference uh, between Herzog and Labour and Netanyahu and Likud when it comes to the negotiations with Iran. Surprisingly, many commentators from the Gulf Arab nations stood shoulder to shoulder with Netanyahu's warning to the U.S. and criticized President Obama's negotiations with Iran, a country they consider a mortal enemy. One influential Arab commentator called President Obama the ally of political Islam, which is the mother of all the terrorist organizations. And he wrote, I am very glad of Netanyahu's firm stance and his decision to speak against the nuclear agreement at the American Congress. I believe that Netanyahu's conduct will serve our interests, the people of the Gulf, much more than the foolish behavior of one of the worst American presidents. And an Israeli analyst added that Netanyahu's speech assured Sunni Arab peoples and governments that Israel will hold the line even if America fails us on Iran. While control of the Knesset is at stake in the upcoming election, the results will be felt throughout the region and around the world.